It's another setup day here at F6 Outdoors. Getting ready to get this new Hoyt VTM31 setup. Taking it to uh, Idaho, actually, in, uh, in two days. So, should be fun. All right, back down here at F6 Outdoors. This is Jamie Fuller 2.0. So we're down here at the new shop. Man, this place is phenomenal. This is like state of the art. So many more bows in here, huge, huge range. So um, we've done a bunch of these bow build videos, obviously in the past, they've all been points mostly. So this is another one. We got the VTM 31. Uh, this one's in the bourbon and the black limbs. So it's a really, really good looking bow. Um, but Jamie's going to get started on here and kind of talk about the process of this build and how it builds up. Most important part of the bow, uh, we want to make sure your arrow's flying true. Hoyt actually has their integrated QAD that I'm going to be putting on their integrated mount here. So turn this bow around. They have an integrated mount, mounting style bracket um, for this rest and we'll go ahead and get this put on. So as uh, you guys might remember, we were kind of tucked back in the hallway in our old shop. So down here in Montrose, when we designed this new shop, we want to be able to have our customers be able to sit down here, watch the whole process, and get them set up in a, in a more of a pro shop feel environment. On this uh, Hoyt rest here, we have to take this cap off. And there's going to be a little small screw here for the dovetail mount. So I'm going to loosen that up and I'm going to go ahead and put it on the back side of this riser. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and throw on uh, the Easton Axis 5 mil arrow on here. This is actually a match grade from Easton. Uh, John likes running these 5 mil arrows. He runs AAE Pro Max four fletch veins, allow a little bit more clearance and stability in flight. And I like to run these things 90, just right out of the gate, level knock travel, and kind of start out from there, and then we'll shoot through paper after that. Cold steel. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put this bow in the press. We're going to remove the whole shot dampener so we're able to put a piece of shrink tube over our brass knock point, which John uses for a kisser button. John doesn't really like the larger kisser buttons, so we go ahead and put the brass knock point on for him and the shrink tube to make it look clean. One of the features that Hoyt added this year is a pretty cool little feature. Um, you're actually able to take the drop weight cord and run it through the riser. So then you alleviate the problem that you had before by rubbing outside the riser with your drop weight cord that is cable driven. So what we're going to do is we're going to install this HHA rise. So the rise version is actually a double pin. Um, a lot of guys are a little worried about running a single pin only, worried about a deer getting out too far and not be able to get, um, you know, dial on them. So with this, you can set like a 20 and a 40 pin or whatever your bow ends up being. And then you have that confidence if that deer does move out a little, little further, you don't have to move your, uh, your sight tape at all. So it has double indicator pins, micro and toolless, and it is a pick mount made just for these Hoyts or anybody that's running a Picatinny mount. All right, so what we're gonna do is make sure that this bow is in time for John, make sure both cams are hitting at the same time. So we have a last chance archery easy green press and we have a last chance draw board here. Um, we're gonna go ahead and crank this thing back and see where we're at. We have it set at 28 inches on the uh, modules for John. It's a super important step in the whole process as far as tuning. We're gonna make sure both these cams hit at the same time. So it looks like our top stop is just a little ahead of the bottom. John pan down there. So we're gonna advance that top stop, or excuse me, the bottom cam by putting a, probably a full twist in the top to see where we're at. I'm gonna go ahead and put a full twist in this cable here on the top cam. And we're gonna go in, we're gonna go ahead and hook it back up to the cable post. Put string back on, we're gonna check it on the draw board again.
Well, we'll take that for now. Man, absolutely loving, loving this bow. This bow is a, it's a shooter, super quiet, um, but huge compliments and, and thanks to Jamie and his crew down here at F6 Outdoors. If you're ever in the Southeast Iowa area, be sure to check them out. The, the range is, is awesome. And the shop is just packed full of stuff and really friendly, knowledgeable staff. Um, they're also offering something here in the range where you can actually sign up for 24 hour service. You just have a key fob and you can come in. So the shop's on one side and the range is the other and there's bathrooms and everything. So even after hours, you can still access restrooms and, and have access to the range. So really nice and we got a ton of cameras and everything set up in here to make sure that nobody ruins it, you know, for the good people, but this is good. So we're dialed in at 20 on this HHA site. Now what we'll do is we'll go out and go ahead and set our 60. And once we have our 60 set, we can put our sight tape on and we're good to go. Um, yeah, I'm gonna keep on shooting.